Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today on J-Bob and Sons, I'm selling some cards. Another sort of card slab sale. I've done one of these before, it turned out pretty well. So I'm doing it again. I got some pretty big cards here, you guys. So um, I'm gonna sell them for lower than, lower than comps in most cases here, or close to that. Um, this time around, um, I'm only gonna ship to the, uh, you know, continental United States. Um, while, I'm, while I'm always happy to ship out stuff to the UK and Canada, um, sometimes uh, the shipping has been kind of an issue. Um, last time I did a sale, I sent some stuff. It got there, but it took a while and it's a little bit expensive as well. So for this one, if you're, uh, if you have, you know, continental US address, that's what we'll do. Uh, basically how it will work is the same as last time. I'm just going to show you some cards and then, and then my, what, what I'm asking for the price. And if you're interested, go ahead and drop a comment below in the comment section. Let me know which cards you're interested in. Uh, and then that'll kind of put you in the queue and I'll go from those comments as they, as they come in. Uh, and then go ahead and email me. I'll put my email in the description below. And um, from there, we'll complete the transaction. And like last time, you know, friend, friends and family is appreciated, um, you know, but it's not it's not required. But that's, um, you know, if you've uh, been watching my channel, I'm pretty trustworthy. <laughs> last stack sale, you know, everything went out. Um, I did want to say something about my uh, li my last live stream. So my son and I did a live stream and we had some stadium club, some vintage, some old stadium club. Um, I have not shipped all of those out yet. So uh, for those that are, uh, I got a couple emails today about it. And so um, I got almost all of it out and there's still a few more that I got to sort of pack up. I actually ran out of bubble mailers, had to order more <laughs> and, um, and packaging tape. So just a matter of getting more supplies in. So um, get that done and I'll get that sent out to you guys. Appreciate it. All right, so let's get to the cards. Um, like I said before, some pretty big cards here. Um, we're gonna start off, I'll put these aside for a moment. I'm gonna start off with a 2019 Optic Kyler Murray. Uh, this card is uh, pretty sweet. I mean, I'm really looking forward to the new release of Optic that should be out soon. Um, for me, I just I just like the rated rookies. I like the Optic rated rookies. Um, it's just I I almost kind of prefer them over Prism, even though I know Prism is like is like you know the top notch card for a lot of sports. Anyway, this one's a PSA ten, and um, I was just actually looking on looking up this one. So one sold January twenty eighth. That was yesterday for two hundred and seventy eight dollars ninety nine cents. Buy it now on eBay. Um, I'll let this one go for two hundred and twenty, and that's a shipped price. So. 220 uh, can have a Kyler Murray uh, PSA 10. Got a couple, <clears throat> got several basketball cards. These ones are loose. Uh, <clears throat> so this is an un ungraded card. Um, this is from the 2020 NBA Hoops uh, Premium. Uh, I just did a break of this. Uh, you can catch that video. I can link it up here. Pulled in the same uh, in the same box, uh, the John Morant base. So this one's looking really clean. I think the centering is pretty good. Um, but here's what that card looks like. Last sold on these is in the range of like 30 bucks, but I'll do 25 bucks shipped for this jaw. And I actually pulled a really sick one. So this is a hollow, this is a hollow. And I believe it's the, it's the orange hollow of get out the way so it's a really nice insert uh john moran again this is the nba hoops premium edition it's a beautiful card i'm not gonna lie um these are going for quite a bit of money on ebay right now i mean i'll i, I would let this one go for 50 bucks shipped um for this john moran so we got two john morans and uh let's go back let's go to actually let's go to baseball uh for a moment I have a Luis Robert. Uh, the, this is the flagship. So this is out of uh, Top Series 2. So we have Luis Robert Top Series 2 PSA 10. Um, so that's, this, that's the base flagship rookie card for, for Lou Bob. 
Now let's see, um, these have been selling for about, let's say, um, almost one, I've seen a couple go for 130 recently. Um, so I'll do, I'll do 115, I'll do 115 shipped on the Luis Robert. So 115 bucks would get the Luis Robert PSA 10, pretty sick card, uh, right there. Okay, now I have, I have some monsters here, you guys, some absolute monsters. And I'm not sure what the interest level is on these. I'm going to be pretty firm on these prices for sure, but I just kind of wanted to uh, put them out there. Uh, like I said, I have too many cards. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My wife's been getting on me about getting rid of some of these things. Um, I have more cards coming. Uh, you know, I'm always, I'm always buying stuff and all the Garbage Pell Kids and the Pokemon stuff. So anyway... I, I may regret getting rid of some of these, but here we go. <laughs> so here we go. We got Luca. How about a 2019 Luca Blue Velocity, which I love the Blue Velocity cards. They're just beautiful. And so this is what Luca's like second year. Second year cards, PSA 10. I mean, this is a pretty sweet card. It's been going for uh, 160, 170 or higher. I'll do 150 on that. Pretty firm on that. Um, so 150 for Luca, blue velo, really sick card. All right, drum roll. Uh, these ones are pretty big, you guys. So let me uh, make sure I'm talking about the right one. So we'll start off with we'll start off with Kobe Bryant, you guys. This is a huge Kobe Bryant card. Uh, I know there's a lot of Kobe Bryant fans out there. Obviously, I'm one of them. Uh, just talking to uh, one of my boys the other day about cool Kobe Bryant cards. I would say my my uh, absolute goal would be to get a Kobe Bryant autograph uh, card at some point in my life uh, in the collection. But um, I have a few more Kobe's, but these are I have two Kobe's coming up. This is the first one. So this is 1996 Skybox Premium. It's a PSA nine. Um, so the Skybox uh, we're gonna do for this one. We're going to do $215, which uh, when I checked the comps, that was below um, uh, that was that was below the comps I've seen for this one recently sold. Um, and so I'm pretty firm on that. Um, I mean, it's Kobe. It's a PSA 9. It's a sweet card. Um, but, you know, for you guys, if you're interested in, drop a comment. Let me know. So Kobe Bryant Skybox. That one's $215. All right, and I have another one. This one's even cooler, I think. And this is the Fresh Foundation. So this is 1996 Fleer Metal. Um, uh, this is number 137. It's PSA 9 as well. Again, a really cool Kobe Bryant card. Um, and um, let's show you the back of that one too. Just a really cool Kobe card, graded. Um, for this one, uh, it, you know, the comps I found were a little higher uh, for this one in particular. So I'm going to do 230 bucks. So 230 and you get yourself a nice PSA 9 graded up Kobe Bryant card. 1996, guys. So um, definitely a card that will probably go up in value over time. Probably shouldn't be selling it, but there you go. So there's that one. And then finally, you guys, um, I've been debating on this one for a long time. I'm not quite sure if this is the best decision, <laughs> but all right, here it is. You guys ready for this? This one, I'm really firm on the price. First one that comments can take it down, but boom, kaboom. How about a Mike Trout rookie card? I mean, now, if you guys look, no, if you guys know about the Mike Trout rookie card, of course, the tops 2011 update would be the what everyone really wants. Um, but of course, there's the Bowmans that that are also um, available for Trout. Has the rookie card emblem. Now this is a PSA nine, um, and also do note that there is a Chrome version and a paper version. This is the paper version, right? So the Chrome would say Bowman Chrome right here. So when you're looking at comps and stuff, you got to make sure you're not looking at the Chrome card versus the paper card. This card is going is, is going up in value. I mean, it's gone up since I bought it, um, but I need I need to sell it. So you know, um, maybe one day I'll pull the trigger. Um, I would much rather have the 2011 Tops update uh, 
uh, the sort of flagship rookie. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll stop talking. This is it. So Mike Trout, 450. I'm going 450 bucks on the Mike Trout if anybody wants that. And again, you know, you know, it's all good. No, <laughs> nobody comments. Nobody wants anything. It's all good. I mean, I just wanted to put it out there. I will probably be listing all these on eBay here soon, but um, it's kind of fun. Last time I did a video here, I think it's uh, kind of fun to see people's cards. And uh, and if there's interest, you know, then, you know, go ahead and drop a comment, email me, and we'll make a deal because, uh, you know, selling, you know, the fees and stuff going other other ways is kind of a pain in the butt. So, so that's the last one. So that's the Mike Trout 400, 450 bucks PSA 9. Um, and that'll finish it off. So I have a whole lot more cards um, and I'll probably be doing another video soon. Um, I have like stacks and stacks of rookies, uh, mostly baseball, but also basketball, also football. Um, I just haven't had the time to sort of put those together yet in, in lots, but I'll be doing that soon. So be on the lookout for that. So let me know, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching. As always, you know the drill. Stay safe out there and I will see you on the next one.